Okay, first things first, you'll need an instrument track in Pro Tools with an instance of Spitfire Audio's something. <laughs> I have Spitfire Studio Strings, and we're going to look at how Dynamics, Vibrato, and Reverb CC uh, responds to the faders I've mapped that to. So I'll go back to Soundflow here. This is kind of the basic menu you're looking at. Um, there's three banks of CC faders. I'm controlling everything from my phone. In fact, I'll uh, navigate over to the basic faders on my phone now. You can see that the volume works all right. Expressions working okay. Yeah, modulations working okay. These are actually pretty responsive. I've been impressed with the, the touch surface. Um, yep, and vibrato's working all right. Okay, let's go to the advanced CC faders now. Um, these ones are a little trickier because not every library that Spitfire makes is mapped with these enabled. Um, so here's my iPhone display. Uh, moving my finger, you're seeing that the speed's not working. Um, release is okay. Tightness is good. Um, and reverb, huh, nothing is happening there. And that's because the CC19 has not been mapped, but that's no problem. Um, it's an easy fix. You just go and learn CC automation and move your finger up and down on your phone. Boom, it registers the CC19. Okay, onwards. So the next one we're looking at is mic faders. So mic one in this instance is gonna be close mic one for this library. So moving that up and down, it responds as I'd hope. Same for mic two. Okay, let's check the tree. Um, tree number two uh, activated as soon as I move to the fader. Okay, ambient mic's good. Outrigger's also good. So I think where this really shines is if you're ever on travel and needing to take a big instrument with you and maybe something like this isn't going to fit on the plane, or in my case, I had a MIDI controller that I really couldn't fit on the plane. They said, there's no way this is going to fit. You can't take this to England if you're leaving from the States. Um, I had to compromise and downsize to something like that. And the reason I love Soundflow so much is that it works in tandem with that, where I might not have faders on my tiny portable um, MIDI controller, but with my phone and Soundflow, now I can still control parameters like volume expression mod, and I'm a happy camper. So yeah, I mean, Soundflow just offers so many workarounds. Um, this is just to give you a sense of the size. This is an old iPhone I don't use for calls anymore. It's basically just a touch surface. And yeah, I love the interface and it fits in my pocket and occupies less space than my luggage and has a small footprint in the studio. So highly recommend to check it out.